Amid growing political tensions in the Republic of Chad, leaders of several Central African countries met in DR Congo's capital Kinshasa to discuss the political transition in Chad. Now, the Democratic Republic of Congo's president has been identified as mediator for Chad's prevailing political crisis since the assassination of the country's longest serving president. Now, the son of the former president is currently the leader of the Central African nation. But his decision to prolong his stay in power triggered the recent crisis or tensions in the Congo, or Chad rather, and let's have more details of that in this report. Leaders and representatives of nine Central African countries gathered in Kinshasa to discuss the political transition in Chad. The meeting was called by the DRC president, Felix Chisekedi, who is the current chairperson of the Economic Community of Central African States. Your participation at this session is a testimony of the interest that you have for the current transition process in the Republic of Chad and the brotherhood that binds us all to the people of Chad with whom we share the same destiny. Chad has been rocked by a political crisis since its longtime leader, Idris Deby, was killed in April in a military operation against rebels. The former Chadian president's son, Mohamed Dabi, seized power after his father's death. He had initially promised to rule for 18 months and hand over power to a civilian government. But a nationwide forum recently extended his transition period to two years, sparking protests in Chad. The leaders of the Central African trade bloc have now named President Felix Chisekedi as the mediator of the political crisis in Chad. The conference has appointed His Excellency President Felix Tshisekedi, the President of the Democratic Republic of Congo and President of the ECCAS, as the facilitator of the transitional process in the Republic of Chad. President Mohamed Derby has promised to organize an election in 2024, but Chadian opposition and civil society groups have been calling for protests to demand a quicker transition to democratic rule. The Congolese president has been tasked to ensure that the military government in Chad hands over power to civilian rule to prevent an outbreak of violence and further bloodshed. President Felix Chisekedi has taken over this new role at a time when his country is facing increased rebel activity that has forced thousands of people to flee their homes.